I think it's like so important to tell black stories like authentically, like the full picture. Like we usually get like one little snippet or we see one story being told over and over again. I know that the art of storytelling is how we humanize each other. I gotta hit the beat. Welcome to Ebony Power Talk. Gotta hit the beat, beat. And this is Influential Creators brought to you by PNG. I gotta hit the beat, beat. I gotta hit the beat. Hi, I'm Nicole Linnell, CEO, author, and fashion designer, and I'm with Broderick Hunter, and I'm an actor and a model. Beat. Let's widen the screen so we can widen our view. I love it. <laughs> I think that's phenomenal. As we know in media and black culture, Hollywood plays a big role in how we're treated. You tend to think you know what's going to happen, and I, that was beautiful to see the full picture. The art of storytelling is how we humanize each other, and to know the why behind so many black faces is really, really important. Have you like widened the screen through your own work? I mean, I'm an author. I wrote, I wrote a book called My Fashion Fairy Tale because nice. I always tell people to close their eyes and think of a damsel. You don't see a black woman, but when you see a black woman crying or you see a black woman in pain. You always think, what does she do? You never think, what happened to her? How do you feel? When it comes down to widening the screen on my own personal things, I started asking specific questions like, okay, who follows me and why do they follow me? Mm. Who likes my work and why do they like my work? When you ask those specific questions and you really put that magnifying glass over your true influence, it kind of becomes a mirror reflection of yourself because a lot of the things that we either judge or perceive, like or don't like, it's a lot of it's a mirror of us. Oh my gosh. So I started to kind of do my work where it reaches everybody as accumulation, white, black, brown, gay, uh, bi, all those people are getting fed the same love as I would with somebody who I don't necessarily know who had just started following me. So outside just being a black a black dude that's in campaigns or modeling, you know, it's, it's <laughs> so much that. more it's to deeper. life. It's much, it's much deeper than that. When it comes down to black stories, I truly feel like there's never really a right way to tell our story. There's this perception of everything's the right or wrong way. It really comes down to why these stories are being told like this. I think that the inauthentic stories come from not widening those conversations to tell other versions. What do you mean there's a black girl that's, that's dope, successful, uh, is in a loving relationship? What do you mean? Nobody wants to see that. Uh, yes, no, they do. we would love to see it. <laughs> I would love to see it. So, Honestly, what's your take on content creation in general? Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> like what exactly is content creation? I feel like I am very intentional now mm -hmm. with my content creation, but I have gotten back to my why I'm doing this. And that yeah. is because when women look good, they feel good. But I also wanna have fun because I feel like content has become a business. So I would say it's been a beautiful black experience. That's how I would describe it. <laughs> what separates your storytelling? As an artist, it's always important to cater to our intent and what we're doing and why we're doing it over necessarily what the final product is. And it kind of gives you that driving force to continue to do it and find new ways to reach a certain new level of consciousness, I guess you could say. I kind of feel like I can hit it on different levels, like doing different things. I could do it through my modeling, I could do it through my acting, I could do it through my barbering. I know I, I started with just a boutique mm -hmm. um, selling items from vendors and then I 
grew to making my own designs and bringing people along for the journey before it was more popular. When I first started with social media, you kind of didn't show, you want to just show the glow up parts, right. <laughs> the good parts, you know. I've mm -hmm. showed the ugly parts and I've been fearless and I've shared a lot. And I think we talked about being authentic. People, you're gonna film me. <laughs> you like, don't know what's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna catch it for real. One thing I think about when it comes down to uh, putting money behind black voices and black creatives, do you think uh, approaching brands from a budget perspective is important for black creatives? Very important. Of course, uh, we need money. Yeah, <laughs> putting money and power behind black creatives is a game changer. Like we are the culture, we push things forward. They're watching what we're doing. I feel like we've always been given very little, but we do amazing with it. Besides cutting the check, <laughs> I wish there was a better approach to, um, to wanting black creators to do something. Cause sometimes they have this idea that we just wave along in and out overnight, like it's created, but they don't know the process that actually comes to actually being a black creative and the investment and the things that we actually have to do. So I would just like the understanding of the process to be able to- I love the approach you know? because no one wants to feel like they're just checking a box. Absolutely not. I think the industry has like really taught us as black creatives more and more and more that it doesn't matter where you start from. That's one thing with social media, especially. Mm -hmm. I know when I, growing up, when I thought of a business owner or certain jobs, I didn't see us. And I think that all is changing right now. And especially with black people in more power positions. When I was in my fashion industry, when I first started, there was not many black, black dudes at all, let alone black men in campaigns. How do we create a, a bigger foundation so we all can stand on? So I always just tried my best to see outside of being the only one and more so seeing how I can be an asset to create more. What about you? Janelle Monet, like Black Panther vibes, like do they know the impact, like what it's done? Like we did numbers, like just what that has done. I know when I have watched certain films, like what it's done for me and, and to make me dream bigger and better. Cause I remember in school talking about seeing a black president. And I remember another kid telling me like black people can't be president and just like how important that representation is. In today's world, I, I'm, I, I love Marvel. I would love to ask Anthony Mackie, what's it like playing the new captain? Yo, new cap. <laughs> <laughs> what's up with that? 